hey, this is actually a really important video about a new topic on my channel. You don't even know what's coming for you, but it's important and you need to know about it. So let's talk about it. It's also an unboxing video. We have a box here. And we have a box here. I'm gonna sit right here right now. Inside the box we have dun, 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 a yoga mat and another oh my god another yoga mat and yoga mat spray that's some yoga mat spray so the reason this is so important is because you need to have a good yoga mat you can't buy cheap crappy yoga mats i've done it before i better go to my couch for consistency this is just too much for you guys let's head over to the couch to talk about this You need a good yoga mat. You can't be buying shitty yoga mats like I have been doing most of my life. You can get away with it for a little bit. Like if you don't work out or you hardly practice yoga, okay, you can get away with a cheap yoga mat, like a $4 or whatever dollar store yoga mat. But if you like to exercise like I do and work out a lot and do yoga a lot, you need a good yoga mat because Cheap yoga mats are bad for the environment, but they're also really dangerous. And I'll tell you why, and I'll show you why. Let's go downstairs. Here you have a cheap yoga mat from Dollarama. Probably, I think it costs $4. And yeah, $4 is not gonna last very long, but even the $20 ones you do the same thing, which is they start to wear out. And it looks fine right here, but it's because I swept it today but all these little it's not believable now but all these little bits all these little bits fall off and get everywhere everywhere even they're stuck to my slippers I can't I can't get it off these cheap yoga mats get the little bits everywhere it drives me completely nuts and you know what one time I actually got a piece of yoga mat stuck in my eye. I kid you not, I was on my back with some socks on on a cheap yoga mat. I had lifted my leg up in the air to do one of those stretches. And before I knew it, a piece had fallen into my eye and I couldn't get it out. I couldn't see. Luckily, I was with my parents at their house, so my dad was able to drive me to the health clinic. I had to get it removed, but I wouldn't have been able to deal with that if I were by myself. It was a situation for sure, and it was really painful. So that was quite dangerous. After that experience, I still bought cheap yoga mats. I didn't learn my lesson, but because they keep disintegrating and making a mess and getting everywhere, all over my clothes, all over my cat, and the risk of it going back into my eye, I decided that's enough. I got to invest in a good yoga mat. I knew this brand is good. Manduka, it's the best yoga mats around because they're really built to last, especially their pro model. And I got the pro model because it's the best one. But I also got this one because it was on sale, the X. Uh, I got it for about $65, which was on sale. That was pretty really good. And it seems really sturdy. I got two because I do like to work out a lot. I like to do yoga and I also like to do fitness. So I figured I'd use this one for the fitness and I'll use the other one for the yoga. I know I didn't really need both. I know I shouldn't have gotten both, but I did. And honestly, I probably could have gotten away with just this one because it's quite thick and really grippy. I'm very excited about it. And this other one, this is their pro one. It's lifetime guarantee. These don't fall apart. This will last a lifetime. So I don't have to keep buying yoga mats and wishing that the, and hoping that the dust doesn't go in my eye. And I got the lavender yoga mat spray. Cause it smells nice and I felt like treating myself. I usually just use vinegar and I get tired of 
smell like vinegar sometimes. It's nice to kind of step it up. So we have some lavender. Get that yoga studio feel. It's seven millimeter thick, this yoga mat. So when you step on it, it's very cushiony and luxurious. And honestly, it really makes you feel like doing yoga. You want to do yoga when you step on a really nice mat like this. So if you're thinking about getting into yoga or you want that extra motivation, you, I recommend getting a nice yoga mat. This one was on sale for 135 Usually it's like 165 I know it's a lot to spend on a yoga mat, but once you go through these cheap yoga mats that disintegrate and get in your eye and everywhere, you realize that it's just a waste of money to spend on those cheap, stupid yoga mats. So I'm learning now from experience at 30 years old that cheap things are not always the best. It's better to get things that will last longer. It took me long enough to realize that it really feels good to get a quality product and I'm so excited to practice yoga on this mat that's not, that I don't have to sweep up little bits of plastic after every time and get it all over my slippers and my sweater and stuff. Enough. Say no to cheap yoga mats. Invest in a good quality mat. Do yourself a favor. You heard it from me. I don't want to see any of my viewers getting pieces of yoga mats in their eye. Let my experience be an example. Don't let it happen to you. This is a warning. Avoid those cheap yoga mats. Check out my other videos. This is just me, Lydia, on my channel, Lydia Live. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your time. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. And if you don't like yoga, like I used to not like yoga my whole life until a couple of years ago, I thought yoga was boring, yoga was too slow. That's because I didn't find an instructor that I resonated with. And during the pandemic, I had the chance to give yoga a fair try, thanks to one of my friends who encouraged me. I started to get into it and I found instructors online that I really resonated with. And I'm very partial, especially to yoga with Tim Best yogi on youtube in my opinion i will drop a link to his channel i just absolutely love his vibe how oh, i have an itchy i love his vibe i love his voice he doesn't play annoying music and he's kind of funny and it's just perfect because i'm picky if a voice is annoying i can't practice if there's stupid music i can't practice if they say stupid stuff i can't practice yoga with him just nails everything right on right on the dot and nails it every time and it's also a really great workout so i encourage you to give yoga a try if you don't like it i do like to get a good workout which is why i like yoga with tim because some of his sequences are quite challenging and effective even in 30 or 25 minutes love it and the way it makes me feel how balanced i feel after practicing it's such a wonderful practice Find a teacher that resonates with you. There's so many on YouTube. A wonderful practice to get tuned into your body, to reconnect, get out of your head. And I find the best times to meditate for me, what works best for me, is after yoga or exercise. After moving my body physically, that's the best time to meditate and get really in tune with my body and be as present as possible and get rid of all the mental clutter so important to do that so so important if we consume all day information we don't give our minds a chance to relax it's overwhelming uh, it can be hard to get into the habit of meditation i have struggled with it initially as well but once you get the hang of it you will, you will start to crave it and crave that relaxation that your mind really needs and the yoga practice is movement including the mindfulness aspect which is really nice it's a meditative workout so you leave it feeling meditative as well whereas another type of workout like a regular maybe cardio or strength with the bumping music and stuff i like to do those too but after that i need to have quiet time to meditate because it's very high energy and intense so important to get into our bodies and out of our heads and experience that mind-body connection for what it is mysterious really i could go on and on everything's related everything's connected 
do the right things, take care of yourself, be as present as possible, breathe. This is the therapy, simply existing and taking care of ourselves.